up, y'all? We're gonna go clean a car at Tefsu, um, car detailer. So come with me, let's go clean a fucking car. So first off, we gotta come to the board. We gotta see what cars are available for clean. Let's see what the fuck they need. So this is a Golan Mariza, it's a pilot. So we gotta go clean a pilot. Spot the pilot, unlock that bitch. We in this bitch and you already know these pilots are cold. Let me show you. Obviously, that big Honda. Let's see this bitch start up. Uh, oh, that bitch is blasted. My bad. Probably sounded awful. Honda, brand new stickers. Stickers. Like, you gotta push to reverse, push to do all that shit. But first, I gotta whip it in the garage. Um, Just so that I could take off all the stickers and then take off all the plastic because it is brand new. So I'll show you how that goes. That's a big ass car. It's gotta watch out. It's freaking out because it is a garage. So it's like, where are you taking me? Yeah. So yeah, I just pulled this bitch in. Yes, so this bitch is a big boy. So we're gonna have to unwrap the mats. And you place these mats inside the car for the client. Back mat, I mean uh, front mat, back mat. Throw all the plastic in a trash can. But yeah, so I'm gonna go put these mats in and then I'm gonna show you how we take off the stickers and stuff. Right, this is paint thinner. Um, yeah, so gotta keep your nostrils closed. Just a dot of paint thinner. I wanna put that in the car. And then you're going to rub on the sticker. So the sticker, I'm gonna rub on the outside of the sticker. This is to get that sticky shit off. We don't want that. Next, the blade. So essentially what we do is whenever a car salesman, like I said, this is a Honda Pilot, a Honda, a Honda salesman makes a sale, um, we clean their car. Not their car, but we clean the car that they just sold so that the client will have a nice car. So the price is, all that like I said it still has the outline so wherever the paint thinner was you just take that and rub it off because it comes right off with the paint thinner and obviously we'll clean it more but it's just the start but anyways then we fold this up And put it in the glove box. Slip it right in there. Bang. Perfect. But other than that, we're just kind of making sure that everything looks good. Because like I said, this is somebody's car and they're waiting for it at the dealership. So we don't want to like keep them too long. But we also don't want to give it to them like beat up. You know what I'm saying? We're just trying to meet them in the middle. Oh, yeah. Since all, whenever all the stickers are off, there's still one more outside, I'll go grab it. Um, then I'm gonna go take it to go wash it. Like I said, then we'll just whip this bitch out. I'm gonna go whip this bitch out. I'll see y'all there. But like I said, as long as you get a plan, bro, and you are finding a way to grind, to stack bread, there's nothing wrong with it. And I feel like a lot of the time I feel like I'm behind. Only because I just don't want to be left behind, you know what I'm saying? But regardless of the fact that some shit don't work out, 
I'm gonna find a way to win. That's how it's always been. But okay, so we just pulled up to the wash. So I'm gonna show you guys how how I wash it, and then how I. Uh, so I'm gonna rinse and wash, and then rinse it again, and then I'll show you what happens after. Cool. So because this is a big ass truck, I'm gonna check the rims. They don't look dirty, like at all. Usually we'll put like degreaser on it just to get the rims uh, cleaner. But since it's not like dirty, 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 I'm just gonna start this bitch. A power washer. A uh, pressure washer. And I'm flicking on. It's gonna be loud. Because it's big. You gotta get on top. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Okay, the first, what you gotta do, we got these buckets with brushes. He's gonna hit the rims first, cause that's the part of the car that gets the dirtiest fast. So hit the rim. After you're done washing, like uh, scrubbing it, then you're gonna spray it again. You wanna spray top down. Throwing them wipers. So I rinse it all. You just gotta get all the soap off. Um, I'm very scared to hit one or like to crash one of these cars. Knock on wood. Only because this is somebody's brand new car. You know what I'm saying? And they'll pull whatever damages I do out of my check or I don't know how it works, but it would, I mean it would just suck to cr crash any car regardless if it's mine or somebody else's. And they're like the microfiber little towels. And then what we do with them is we just wipe from the top down. So I'll just throw it up there, and then I'll come down. What you're trying to do is avoid wet spots. Ooh, I forgot a little sticker. It's okay. Because wet spots will ruin, like a new, like a new car does not look good with wet spots. All I'm doing now is just getting the uh, the door because it, it could be wet as well. Like this shit, watch. Let me show you. So this. Makes the wheel also shiny. As long as any plastic in that little under spot. You see how shiny that tire is? It's just for looks, but I mean still. It's just in case I got any of that, that uh, stuff on it. As well as any dry spots from the water that was on the roof previously as well. But yeah, basically that's it. So yeah, the keys that are inside the car, um, we'll go we'll go give it to the dealer, and then we'll be like, yo, this is your car. We we'll reverse it, make it look real pretty, and then we, uh, you know what I'm saying? We take it to the dealership, give it to him. He gives them the car, the, the customers, and then everyone's happy.